Donate UPMC Hammett and UPMC Hillman Cancer Center are joining forces with a national nonprofit organization. It's called Be the Match to find bone marrow donors. Fontaine Glenn joining us now live from UPMC Hammett with more on the event. Good morning, Fontaine. Good morning, Dave, and the Be The Match event here at UPMC Hammett is an online and in-person donor registry. And to talk more about the bone marrow transplant process and exactly what is bone marrow is Dr. Hussein, who is a hematologist at UPMC Hammett. Good morning, Dr. Hussein. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Fontaine. Thank you for having me over here. Of yeah. course. And I know you specialize in, as a hematologist, what exactly is bone marrow and what is its purpose for a human? Yeah, so bone marrow transplant, you know, itself is a very complicated process, but I'll try to simplify it, you know, for our viewers. Uh, so first of all, what is bone marrow? So bone marrow is an integral part of your body, which is uh, located in the central cavity of the bone, especially the long bones. And their function is that they're producing uh, blood cells, red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and they're producing these cells 24-7. From the day you were born up until you die, this marrow keeps on working. And this is basically 80% or 90% of your immune system. And uh, uh, within the bone marrow, the most, uh, you can say the main cell or the most important cell are the stem cells. Because the stem cells are the cells from where all the other cells, which I just mentioned about the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and there are different types of white blood cells which make up your immune system, originate from. So basically stem cells are the progenitor cells. And that's why when we talk about bone marrow transplant or stem cell transplant, th these are basically the same terms, you know, it's synonymous and they're interchangeable, the bone marrow transplant or a stem cell transplant. Now, uh, the difficult part, you know, is the complicated part and I'm, I'm going to try to simplify it that how does it play the role in treating these diseases. So in certain malignancies, like especially the hematological malignancies like acute leukemias and lymphomas, uh, uh, a bone marrow plays a very integral role in their treatment, management, and in curing these diseases. And the way it does is, uh, so uh, the treatment for these uh, acute leukemias and aggressive lymphomas, the main treatment is actually giving them high-dose chemotherapy. Because they have a diseased bone marrow, their immune system is diseased, and what we do with these high-dose chemotherapy is we completely eradicate, wipe out, the immune system and the bone marrow from these patients and once we wipe out the immune system you know obviously no one can live without their own immune system and the body cannot regenerate that immune system and the bone marrow by itself that's where the donor stem cells come into play so you then it's a rescue process so you then tr infuse these donor stem cells into the patient so that they can go into the bone marrow spaces and regenerate the immune system. So it's giving like a new immune system to the patient and, you know, helping them live and curing the disease. Yeah. I want to say this process sounds very important and thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Hussein. And in the next half hour, we will talk to a patient himself and his daughter on this process, what it's like from that perspective. Dave, back to you. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Fontaine Glenn, reporting live.